Next world. This is part 11 now, and in the last part we took on... <coughs> Basically we played Super Sonic Ball. Super Monkey Hedgehog. And also, this game's getting a lot more darker than I thought with these cutscenes. But now we're on to everyone's favourite part of a Sonic game, and that's the... Casino World. Oh, money. I wonder, if I, I wonder if I'm meant to collect this money. Sonic. Hey, a bit of Sonic spinball action for you guys. And the and the pinball mechanics are just If only this was Pokemon Pinball, I'd have this beaten in. Oh there we go. I guess there's no point. Oh! What was I supposed to do then? Oh, alright. All right, there's more to this game than meets the eye now. Because basically what I, what, what I, oh, oh, there we go. Basically what I was doing, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was looking at a sign and I thought, oh, there we go. I was thinking that's the way to go. If, if I go back in the pit, maybe it restarts me. I'm trying to get all the money. The bling 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 bling. Check it out now, Sonic on a roll, yo. Kill it down, yo. After me, that was a quite a fastish level. Oh, and there's a circus there. Okay, a ring detector two star. Let 
me ask guys, I've still got that four star like speed booster thing. Alright, so this is where we meet the boss, where Sonic has his cutscene where... Move it or lose it, Snow Cone! The last time we met, you ruined my nail art. Now I have to reapply a whole new coat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. I am so, so sorry. Oh, well, in that case... Oh no, what I meant to say is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing more important to do in life. Oh! Okay guys, do not, do not ask why I just did that then. I wanted to see if there was, there was like any red star rings around, so... It's not my fault it's a blind play when I'm trying to explore. If you want a non-blind play, I could always do Sonic 06. But not about a little severance pay first. Yep, the bounce attack. Alright, so we're halfway through because, you know, <coughs> I'm getting distracted here because I want to look at the map on my gamepad because there's, there's like a map which shows if I'm close. But since we got the third red star ring, I guess it means we're very close to the final boss or halfway through.
there's someone giving away free money here. Make it rain, enemies, make it rain. I don't want to say the animals or the red star ring. That's a no-brainer. Actually, I could save both, couldn't I? Okay, how are we doing for time? Okay, we're almost at the boss. She's coming like a wrecking ball. It's uh oh, wrecking ball. Wow, I have to admit these boss fights are a bit too quick, which I like. I like that. You didn't get that in Sonic 06. I'm getting tired of letting your head around, pal, so I made you a snowbot body. Uh, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> That's because you got no arms. Your robots are a reflection of your genius, Dr. Eggman. But this does give me an idea. I think I know a way to cause the lost hex to implode using null gravity effects. We can destroy the Zeti in one quick stroke. And exterminate every living thing around them. Are you out of your mind? Of course, there'd be some collateral damage, but... Collateral damage? What kind of monster... Tails! I'm sorry. I suddenly felt very mean. Not the best idea to put the Dimwit's head on a battle lot. In hindsight, I gotta agree with you, Doc. Thanks for the save. Um, can you get off me now? I can't figure you out. One second you're contemplating genocide, and the next you're saving one of your worst enemies. I'm a complicated guy. And you? What were you thinking, Tails? You could have gotten yourself killed. Shame. Shame. I was just trying to help. You can help by doing more of that, more of that stuff. Put in... Next, pull it on the um, orbital robot. I think he's a lot more smarter. On that related note of Tails' hatred, join us in the next part.